My name is Maiken. Uh, I train at Tiger Muay Thai. I'm from Norway, um, a cold, cold city up in the north. I've been living here in Thailand for three and a half years, uh, fighting Muay Thai and kickboxing, and I'm preparing for my MMA debut. Uh, I started training kickboxing when I was around 12. I uh, had my first fight at 14. I didn't take it too seriously. I, I trained for fun. I did some competitions, um, about 10 amateur fights. Um, but I decided about four years ago that I wanted to become a professional. I moved to Thailand and I'm still here. I was meant to be here for three months on a holiday to like take my um, martial arts to the next level. But I'm, I'm still here enjoying it and started with Muay Thai and now I'm transitioning into MMA and I'm going to uh, America in a couple months. We'll continue my training there and have my first MMA fight. When I first came to Thailand, I started training Muay Thai at Intermedia. Um, I only had kickboxing as my background. I didn't know much Muay Thai. I thought it was basically the same thing, like kick and punch, just add a few elbows and knees. Um, it's not, it's very different. Uh, so I started training at Intermedia. Uh, they got me a fight after a month or so. Um, they saw what I could do. I had a lot to work on, but they liked what they saw. and. Um, they moved me up to the advance and after a little while, a, a lot of hard work, they welcomed me into the uh, Tiger Muay Thai fight team, which was a very, very big thing for me. Um, and after that, I started to fight regularly for Tiger. Um, and when was it? It's about a year and a half ago. I got offered a fight uh, a week. Uh, in advance to fight one of the best Muay Thai fighters in Thailand, uh, Nam Tan is her name, in a big show, Thai Fight Promotions. Uh, that was my first Muay Thai loss, but I was very, very happy. I felt very good after the fight. It was my best performance, but the whole setting um, that they let me fight, that they believed in me, that I did it. She had about 200 fights. That was my fight number six. So I didn't feel bad about losing. It was a very good experience. And yeah, I, I do like a challenge. I do like a challenge. So more fights like that. My toughest fight was definitely the one I had in China last year. Um, because of many reasons, uh, <laughs> I signed up to fight K1. I didn't know it was a Sander fight until I stepped into the ring. No one told me. It was very cheeky. It wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. So that was definitely my, my toughest fight. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. I, it was a good experience, but I also learned a lot. Like, do, do, do check, like, well enough what kind of fight you're signing up to. So, since then, I, I got a manager and he wouldn't let anything like that happen again. I always thought kickboxing was what I wanted to do. Um, I thought for a bit Muay Thai as well. Um, but kickboxing has always been closest to my heart. But then I, I figured out I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to I want to I want to perform on the big stages. And MMA is the future. MMA is the future. And I, the way I, I can move, the way I can perform, uh, different from kickboxing, Muay Thai, till MMA is unique. I, I, I love it. I love the MMA. 
and I'm not going back to only kickboxing or Muay Thai now. Maybe for a few fights, but MMA is, is the future and it's my future. Uh, since I'm, I'm training and I'm sponsored by Tiger, which is the biggest gym in the world, they have a lot of very, very, very high level fighters. A lot of UFC fighters, 1FC fighters, Bellator, all of the big promotions. So I train with a lot of good fighters and I also watch a lot of these fighters train, uh, which I learn a lot from. I love, I, I love to watch and I find myself uh, doing things in sparring and in fights that I watch these fighters do, not even practicing it, but I, I caught myself doing it the other day in sparring and one of the coaches watched me and he was like, whoa, where, where did you learn that? And I'm like, no, I don't know, I just watched someone do it. <laughs> My, my base is from striking. I'm a striker. Um, to be honest, I didn't think I would like working on the ground. I didn't think I would like BJJ, wrestling, anything like that. But after starting it, I absolutely love it. It's, yeah. And I feel so free when I can combine the striking, the punches, the kicks with the groundwork. And I'm learning more every day and I really, really love it and I can't wait to step into the cage. Yeah, I like to take bits and pieces from different fighters and for example, I, lo I love Stylebender. He's, he's amazing. And also Valentina Shevchenko and Antonina. Just watching them train and Rafael, uh, the kickboxing coach here at Tiger. There's so many good fighters, it's, it's hard to, to, to even mention everybody, but I do take a little bit of all of them and study and yeah, like try to, to make my own style. My uh, MMA career means everything to me and I train really, really hard every day. Like, I've done a lot of sacrifices. I'm here, I've been here for three and a half years. I almost never see my family. It's very hard financially and, but this is what I want to do. And I see my future in MMA and I'm, I'm definitely going to perform on one of the big stages. I do have a really good manager now, Sucker Punch. Uh, they're helping me a lot. Uh, reaching my goals. Uh, I also want to make history for my country. I'm from Norway and there's not a lot of MMA fighters from Norway, especially not females. Um, as far as I know, there's no female Norwegian MMA fighters on any of the big shows. So that's what I want to do. I want to make history for my country.